A11 is the next project and I've got notes on here from the last time I made this quilt so we'll go over that but this is an EPP modified block which means that there's been a modification and that they have in the booklet with the kit and so basically they just took out this outer border section here and made it more straightforward. If we compare this to the picture you've got all four of these squares on the outside the center square and these four triangles and then one square that are touching the edge all of those are the focus fabric the rest is the background so we're going to ignore the writing i had on there but right now we're going to look at this so we've got the center square and then we've got three pieces here to form this unit and so i'm going to make four of those and then i'm going to attach those to the center square so you'll have a kind of like a star and then what i'm going to do is I'm going to attach these three squares together in a corner configuration. So you're going to have background, focus, background. And that's so it doesn't, you can't really tell here, but you've got background, focus, background on each one of these. So you're going to make a corner configuration and then you're going to attach these in each corner. Then you're going to attach these. And then finally, you're going to put the squares on. That's what I found to be easiest. Um, but we've got our pieces laid out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these triangle units. My basting, I'm going to have two of these. This, this is going to be first. This is going to base down first so my tags go towards the middle. And then on these, this is going to be based at last so my tags go away from the middle so that we don't have all these clustering of tags in here. So if these tags are going to the middle, then these, the hypotenuse first, then the legs, these tags will go towards this triangle. This is going to be opposite. So if we're going to do these first and then this one, so the tags are going to go away, so these to go with it, the legs than the hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to baste the center square and all these triangle units to show you what I'm talking about. So I've got my pieces all basted and this is what I meant about opposite ways of doing each one. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble all of these triangle units together and then we can move on. So I've assembled all of my triangle units. So now I'm going to connect them to the center square and then we can go to the next step. So I've attached all of my triangle units to my center square and I use my red thread because it's red on red and it blends in better. So the next thing to do would be to make these corner units. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste, I'm going to baste these red squares. Like let's say I would do the sides first and then the top and bottom. I'm going to do this opposite. These black ones are going to be opposite so that they sew together better. So I'm going to go ahead and make all four of those corner units now. So I've made my three piece corners for all four sections. So now I'm going to put these and attach them to my center section and they're going to fit into each corner and they should fit exactly so we're going to end up with this kind of a thing in each corner so i'm going to go ahead and connect all those so i've connected all four corners to the center star section and so now this is what you should have the next thing to do is to add these bars. So I've got four of them, one on each side, and I'm going to baste them and then just attach them to this edge here. So I've got the outer bars attached to the corners. So then the last thing to do is to take these big red squares and baste those and put them in the outer corners. 
So I've attached my first square and I just wanted to point out, you wanna line up this edge here and then stitch to the corner and then start at this edge here and then stitch into this corner so you have a, a nice crisp corner here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the other three now. So I've attached all four of my corner squares and I have a completed A11 block.